But I must admit, I'm not sure what a berry fest princess does. You gotta judge the flower show. Oh, don't forget the honey day. Oh, I have to judge a flower show? I'll be sure not to forget the honey. Got it. Right the girls, you the And twirl the berry fest princess baton. Really? I have to twirl the berry fest princess baton? I'd better practice. Plum the buffet. Right, the buffet. Sample the cobbler. Cobbler? And ask the black. Oh. Blurkles! Get all the wings! The gators! Oh, the 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 Before, the after, the 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 I'm sorry, but I still don't know what my duties are. It's quite simple, actually. Princess Berry King's mini book of Berry Fest Princess Duty says the princess shall preside over the festivities of Berry Fest. Especially the parade must be the very best. What does that mean exactly? It means you're responsible for getting everything ready. Oh, wait, please. This is a great honor, but I'm not sure I know how to put on a parade. Oh, of course. So silly of me. Here's the things to do list. Thank you. This doesn't look so bad. <gasps> oh, galloping grape leaves. a lot to do, Custard. Oh, how am I going to get it all done? Hmm, what would a leader do? I know. She would give tasks to the members of her team. But who's my team? <laughs> my friends, of course. And you know, Custard, they've already said they want to help me. Now, all I have to do is assign some of these tasks. Hello, Blueberry. Hi, Lemon. Oh, Plum, my friend. Would you be able to help me with the parade, please, Orange? Raspberry, could you please help me with something? We'd love to. No, oh, I knew they'd help me. See you later, Custard. <laughs> I'm on my way to plan the buffet, but I thought I'd stop by to see how the garland is. Huh? What are you doing? I'm sorting these nut pieces for the squirrels. The real nuts got mixed in with the metal nuts. I want everything in my store organized so I can focus on making the garland like you asked. Maybe sorting nuts should wait till after the parade. I'd be happy to help you then. When the box said mixed nuts, <laughs> they weren't kidding. And just when I have so much work on my hands... You know, that garland is very important to the parade. <gasps> oh, no! Look at the time! Uh, I'm late to pick up the petals for my garlands. Um, Strawberry, could you watch my store for just a few minutes? Uh, sure, Orange. Go ahead. Oh, and if you're bored, feel free to sort the nuts. She just ran off on an errand. Say, am I glad to see you, Plum. Have you finished the Berry Can Dance for after the parade? Not yet, but I've decided that Orange and I should perform the Berry Bitty Bunny Hop during the parade. But the Berry Kins have to... Since Orange isn't here, I need you to try out some steps with me. <laughs> I'd love to help, Plum, <laughs> but I'm actually in the middle of a sorting project for Orange. Oh, that's okay. You can keep sorting while you hop. Come on, Strawberry! <laughs> now left, right, left, two, three, four. <laughs> Do I want to know? Come on in, Blueberry. We're trying out my parade dance. What do you think? Well, it certainly looks happy. Speaking of parade, how is the parade route coming along? It isn't. I looked everywhere for my Berrymatic 3000 writing pen with low flow ink. Then I remembered somebody borrowed it. Oops. <laughs> That's right. I think I left it in my bedroom somewhere. I'm 
sure that Plum is sorry, Blueberry. Well, I had to make do with a common, ordinary, everyday pencil. So this just isn't as nice as I'd like it to be. I'd like you to look over the map route and see if it looks too long. Uh, I'm a bit busy right now helping Orange and Plum. Uh, 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 could you please come by the cafe in an hour and I'll look at it then? It'll only take a second or a minute, depending on your speed reading ability. Uh, all right. for this parade. Perhaps I can come back later and help all of you. Or better still, perhaps you three could help each other. Sorry, I'm in over my head. I have this entire map to read you, in pen. And my dance has a hippity right where there should be a hop. And these flowers aren't going to string themselves. <sighs> all right. Raspberry? Oh, hi, Strawberry. What's going on? Well, I know you're already helping me on the float, but would you also be able to make me a gown, please? Oh, don't be silly. Of course. I'll design it as soon as I finish these wonderful wings for the butterfly float. Oh, at last, someone is helping me. Thank you. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Oh, <laughs> hi, Lemon. Say, Lemon, could I please hear the music you picked for the parade? That's what I came to talk to you about. Wow, is that the butterfly wing I'll be standing next to? Sure is. You want to hold it? Of course. Um... <laughs> See? A perfect match. <laughs> 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 that looks great, girls. But could we please focus on our parade tasks? Say, do you know what'll really make this wing spectacular? Rhinestones! I've got a rhinestone fastener at home. I'll just add some sparkles to this, and it'll be much more springtime paradier. Oh, but wait, the wings are supposed to look exactly the same. <sighs> I'm sorry Lemon decided to change your design. Oh, no, no, no. She's so right. They should be sparklier. Hey, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter glue to my wing, too. <laughs> or maybe a lot. Yes, sparkles would be nice. But don't we have more important things to do right now, Raspberry? Like for the parade? <laughs> oh, no, but making the wings more sparkly. Sparkly is helping the parade. <laughs> right. Then maybe you and Lemon could decorate the wings together. You know, help each other. Speed things up. <laughs> well, since you're here, you could help me. <laughs> you know, speed things up. I apologize, Raspberry, but I just can't right now. I have a dozen unfinished things to do. Thanks for all your hard work on the float. Gotta go. Bye. Oh, I've tried to be a good leader, Custard, but things haven't gone well. I assigned tasks to my friends and then followed up with them and motivated them, but somehow nothing got finished, Custard. Custard? <laughs> That's exactly right. You got distracted by something, and so did my friends. It's easy to do. I just wish they could be more helpful to each other. It seems like everybody is so stressed. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do each and everything on this list, right down to the last task. Huh? What's this, Custer? Oh, did you find something? Oh, it's the very last task. Oh, no, not another one. It says... I wrote this so fast, I put this task last. But it's rule number one, make the parade fun. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No, wait, that's what I'm doing wrong. 
I've assigned so many tasks that no one is having fun. Hmm, maybe I'm expecting too much of everyone. From now on, I'll just have to work harder. Twirling. Mm, yep. Mm. Working on it. <laughs> Strawberry. Huh? I know it's getting late, but this is all the garland I've gotten done so far. Oh, that's fine, Orange. Don't worry. Leave this here and I'll take care of the rest. Thank you very much. Oh, and Orange, keep smiling. Uh, okay. <sighs> Look, Strawberry, I changed the parade route again. I like this one much better. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, just one second, Blueberry. Uh... <gasps> Wait, these posts are in the wrong place. That's the old route. This is the new route. If I'd gotten your map sooner, Blueberry, we could have changed things. But no time now. We'll have to go with your old route. But I did this one in ink. Oh, don't be upset. I'll try and move the posts. I want you to be happy. Hey, Blueberry, check out my bunny hop. I made it way better. That's the fifth time you've made it better, Plum. Hey, Strawberry, which huh? of our wings looks prettier? <laughs> Girls, this is a parade, not a competition. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> they both look fine. See, she likes mine best. Uh-uh, not in a billion trillion years. Oh, oh. Look, Strawberry. I had to make more garland because Blueberry tells me the parade route is now longer. <laughs> what are we supposed to decorate with that? A shoebox? At least I'm doing something useful. Um, can somebody help me, please? Dancing is useful, not when it's too hard to do. I can't possibly learn your new double hoppity in time. It isn't my fault that Lemon took so long choosing the music. Hey, you're hopping on my map! Huh? Whoa. Ow! Would you mind keeping that thing out of my face? Yours is a monstrosity. My map is ruined. Hopping is silly. You're lucky all you have to do is garland. Oh, no. This is no fun. So yeah. Somebody? I gave them so much work, they've forgotten how to be nice to one another. Well, at least one of them has come back to help me. Strawberry, I'm not good with the needle and thread, and this needs some beef. I'll be back in ten minutes to pick it up. Gotta go. So behind on the music. <gasps> Galloping gooseberries! No princess. She can't be found. <laughs> Have you seen Strawberry? No, but I found her baton in the cafe. She's not in any of the shops. And we've looked everywhere. What if she quit? Why would anyone give up being the very best princess? Well, she did mention having a lot of tasks. Well, I did my task. <sighs> uh, sorta. Yeah, I kind of let her down too, I guess. She asked me to do just one little thing, and I just kept asking her to help me. And I didn't even say please. Girls, I think we 
we all got so wrapped up in our little projects and what we needed that we didn't even pay attention to what Strawberry needed. <laughs> no wonder she took off. If I was her, I'd quit too. I was so selfish. She kept asking us to help each other, and instead we were just rude to each other. I was mean. And she only asked us to do one little thing. And I messed it up with my rhinestones. No, no. It was all me with my silly glitter. Trying to have the best wing. Why don't we just help each other out like she asked? <laughs> Here, please take my hanky. <laughs> Thank you. We're all to blame. And after Strawberry worked so hard. <laughs> what a great leader. Never complained. Always polite. Heart of gold. And she cared so much about us having fun. And now she's left. <laughs> can someone help me down? I can still hear her pleading voice in my memory. <gasps> Please? Wait! That voice is real! <gasps> Look! Up there! <gasps> hey! Over here! Whoa. Well, we've just got to save her. Come on, everyone! you all march here to my rescue. <laughs> I wish you could have seen it. Marching and singing and <laughs> carrying garlands. It looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Once we worked together and were nice to each other. Girls, I was worried for a minute we wouldn't have a parade. But you just gave me the best parade ever. We did? We did! <laughs> Let's be clear about this. Strawberry, it was you who made this parade happen. You never gave up, even when no one was helpful. And we all thank you from the very bottom of our hearts. No, you're making me feel like a real princess. Yeah. 
gowns. Not that box. That box. Oh, this box. Looking very festive. I have a feeling this masquerade ball will be the perfect way for all of Berry Bitty City to celebrate the grand opening of our dog park. Give it some elbow grease. Let's make this dog park sparkle. Put a little muscle in it. Scrub them good. Let's make them say... Barry can Ed. Barry can Earl. You have work to do. Remember the Barrican code? A Barrican never shirks his work. Uh, yes, sir, boss, sir. So we're on the job. We gotta sneak out of here so we can get to work on <laughs> Project You Know What. Well, sure I know. Project Berry Top Secret. Shh. Oh, don't say it. Don't even mention its name. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. This is a tablecloth, <laughs> not a toy. Hello. Hey, Huck. How's everything at Berry Big City? Oh, fine. Great. Uh, I got the invitation for the party tomorrow. It's a masquerade ball in honor of the grand opening of the dog park that you helped us build. You know, costumes, music, dancing. It's gonna be fun. See, that's just it. Uh, <laughs> dancing's just not my thing, you know? I appreciate it, but... But I'm sure you'd have a great time once you were here. Dancing? I can't do that. You wouldn't have to, Huck. I'd make sure nobody asked you. I'd stay by your side every minute. Every minute? Not every other minute? <laughs> you couldn't get rid of me if you wanted. Okay. If you promise. Promise. See you tomorrow, 7 o'clock. He'll be here. Oh, no! Scouty! <laughs> the girls worked super hard on those decorations. And you ruined it. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I don't think it was Scouty's fault. Hannah? Looks like you guys jumped to a wrong conclusion. We're so sorry, Blueberry. We're sorry, Scouty. Oh, that's okay. Let's clean this up so we can finish decorating. A few details to finish up tomorrow, and we're done. I hope so. I still have to get my dress ready. Let's get a good night's sleep and meet at the cafe in the morning. You coming, Blueberry? Oh, I'm right behind you. Decorations are up. Check. I've started the food. I'll bring some dog treats from the store. Check. Do you need any help with the music, Cherry? All taken care of. Blueberry was going to print some welcome signs. I wonder where she is. I have some extra masks at my boutique if anyone needs one. And if anybody wants help with their hair... Blueberry, hi. Where are you? When I woke up, I wasn't <laughs> feeling too, 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 too. Oh, Blueberry. It's just a little <laughs> cold, but I can't make it. <laughs> Good night. Well, don't worry about the party. You just get better. I promised Huck I'd be there. I said I'd be with him the whole time. He'll be fine. We'll make sure. Now, get back to bed. Can I bring you anything? Thanks, Strawberry. I'm okay. Poor kid. That's too bad. It's worse than bad. It's awful. I know she was really just so... So, looking forward to it. Well, you know Blueberry. She's mostly worried about how Huck will feel. There has to be some way I can help. I have to do something. I know what to do. 
Raspberry has that box of extra gowns. I can go to the masquerade party as Blueberry. Oh, Hannah, isn't that an absolutely super idea? I'll get one of the blue gowns and wear a blue wig. Oh, Huck will never know I'm not her. Come on, Hannah, I have a lot of work to do. Something I can... Of course! Blueberry can't go to the party, but I can go to the party for her! I'll wear a blue gown and a blue wig. <laughs> and no one will ever know. Careful, Earl! Careful! You know what's in this thing? Sure! Project Berry Top Secret! Shh! If somebody hears, it won't be secret anymore, will it? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Mm hmm Blueberry, how are you feeling? <laughs> Achoo! I felt Achoo! Worst. But I... Achoo! I can't remember when. This should help. A fresh brewed batch of Be Better Berry Tea. Drink some and you'll be berry better very soon. Always works for me. Did you hear that, Scouty? Wait, listen. There! Hear it? <laughs> I'm not sneezing! <laughs> Strawberry's tea really did work. I can go to the party and Huck won't be alone after all. There isn't much time. I have to get ready. Won't everyone be surprised to see me? Now, the final touch. Hannah! Come on, girl! I'm right here. <laughs> if my own dog doesn't know me, no one will! If I didn't know I was me, I'd think I was her! Chiffon, it's time! <gasps> Don't be scared, sweetie. <laughs> I'm still me. Hey, Strawberry! You look great! Thanks! You too! Both of you! Is Huck here? I haven't seen him yet. I need to tell him about Blueberry as soon as he gets here. you made it. Have you seen him? Not yet. You still sound a little funny. You're sure you're okay? Oh! <coughs> uh, doing super. Just a little... <coughs> Come on. Better get some of that tea. <laughs> okay, Chiffon. Wish me luck. How's your cough, Blueberry? Cough? It's... it's much, much better, thank you. Oh my gosh, you have laryngitis. Don't talk, it'll strain your throat. Good idea. Seen Huck? Still not here. You seem different somehow. Are you sure you're all right? Never mind, don't talk. But could you tell me, just nod yes or no, have you seen Lemon anywhere? She isn't here. Oh, neither is Raspberry. I'll go get her. I mean, I'll go get her. A party without raspberry is like, um, a bookstore without books. I thought you were looking...
looking for Raspberry. Oh, I was looking for tea, remember? Wow, your voice is better. How did that happen? Oh, uh, yes, well, um, mystery novel lover that I am, uh, it's a mystery. <laughs> hey, I just realized I haven't seen Lemon. I'll go see where she is. Strawberry, is he here? Have you seen him? Oh, there he is. Super party, don't you think? I'm not sure, but it seems like something strange is going on. Strange? Strange? What, um, why do you say that? I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on it. Say, have you seen Raspberry? Here I am! Didn't think I'd miss this, did you? What's a party without me? Kind of like a book without a... Uh, never mind. I heard Huck's here. Have you seen him? Huck? Huck? Excuse me! Strawberry? Guess who? It is I, Barrick and Bruce. How do you like my disguise? It's, um... It's it's great. Excuse me, just a moment. I have to figure something out. Certainly. Plum. Guess who? I'm really glad you made it, Huck. Thanks. This does look like fun. It is. Want something to eat? Sure. When I saw how great the park looked, it made me think, what a cool place to set a mystery story. Like maybe a jewel heist at the masquerade ball mystery. Huck, that's terrific. You want to work on it together? Definitely. Let me get a pad of paper and we'll write down some ideas. Hey, whoa, hold on, Blueberry. You promised you wouldn't leave me alone, remember? Here, sit, eat. That way you won't have to dance with anybody. But... <laughs> Guess who? Ed and Earl? Those guys are supposed to be making sure the lanterns don't run out of sparkleberry juice. If they're shirking their work... So, here you are! <laughs> Siobhan, you can't have this. Uh, go find raspberry! Hey! I brought you a piece of raspberry tort. Made it myself. Uh, thanks. Now, let's get to work on our story. Get to work? Story? Oh, our story! Later, later. This is a party! <laughs> Who wants to work at a party? <laughs> but you said... Hey, wanna dance? <laughs> Wait a minute. You're not kidding? Kidding? Uh, no. No? Why would you ask me to dance? How could you ask me to dance? The only reason I agreed to come to this shindig is that you promised that I wouldn't have to... Excuse me, guys. Has anybody seen Raspberry? Well, you're looking right at... Oh, I mean... Well, uh, I mean, not me. I mean, no, yes, I mean... Oh, Raspberry, of course, because I'm Blueberry. I'm a Blueberry, but if it's Raspberry you're looking for, then, uh, that's not me. So, but I bet I can find her for you. Raspberry, that is, that I can do, even though I'm Blueberry. Is it just me, or is everybody acting strange tonight? I don't think they're acting. Huck, there you are. Where'd you think I was? Look what I brought! Lemon meringue pie! Made it myself. Boy, you've sure been baking. And please, don't ask me to dance. Yeah. Why would I? <sighs> well, that's more like it. Not when you're so hungry. Right. But let me know when you've had enough dessert, and then we'll hit the dance floor. <laughs> you really know how to milk a joke. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Listen, while you were gone, I got an idea. About what? About how to pull off the jewel robbery. Hmm. 
jewel robbery. The way I see it, a jewel robbery is a natural for a masquerade ball like this. Uh, it is? I figure, with this crowd and all the noise, everybody in costume, it'd be easy to steal the jewels. Nobody's gonna know who did it. Jewels, sure, if you say so. Terrific, Blueberry. Then we're on the same page, so to speak. <laughs> How about the jewel heist idea? <gasps> Princess Merrikin, he's gonna steal her tiara. So, you sure you like my idea? You don't seem very excited. Um, well, I'm Blueberry, and I always like your ideas, right? So, yeah, I love it! Now, here's where I really need your help, because you're always so clever at figuring out this part, Blueberry. How do we pull off the getaway? <gasps> getaway? Um, yeah, that's a good idea. I, um, uh, let me get right back to you on that. I think I need tea. My... <coughs> Don't you want to work on the story? Uh, not just this minute, no. How about some shortcake, Huck? Made it myself. Princess, where's the princess? <gasps> so, you know the drill. Sure, I memorized Project Top Berry Secret forwards and backwards. Shh, you mean backwards and forwards. Uh-huh, that too. No one's gonna see it coming. Yeah, <laughs> they'll never suspect. <gasps> An inside job! Come on, we gotta set up the last fuses. I caught ya! How'd they get away? Well, I'm ready. For what? To talk about the story. You said you didn't want to. What? I never said that. You did too. I heard you with my own ears. Just like I heard you ask me if I wanted to dance. What? I never would have asked you to. Twice. You sat right there and said, Whoa! <laughs> Maybe you heard what you wanted to hear. Maybe you're just looking for an excuse to go. Maybe I am. Well then, go. Well, all right then. I will. I'm going. Wait! I'm going first. Huck, where are you going? I'm... Hey! What? What's going on? I have captured a criminal mastermind. Huckleberry? Uh, he was planning to steal the princess's jewels. I stopped him just in time and foiled a grand conspiracy between this villain and that one. Blueberry? Or, uh, uh I mean, uh, that one. Blueberry? What's going on here? Which blueberry is Blueberry? Uh, I am! Would you mind removing your masks? I can't. I'm too embarrassed. I think I know how to settle this. Scouty, will you help me, please? Go on, boy. Go to Blueberry. <laughs> Blueberry, are you all right? Huck said some very mean things to me. None of them made sense. He's not being himself at all. Oh, he's not the only one. What's this? Who are you? Uh, you? You can't be her. I'm her. Well, if you're her, who's she? Why don't we all take off our masks? Raspberry? Lemon? Blueberry? What are you doing here? Why are you pretending to be me? Well, I thought you were at home sick, and I knew you were worried about Huck being at the party alone, so... Me too! I didn't know she was, and I thought he would be, and so I... But then you... Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> then it must be Barrick and Ed and Earl who are stealing the jewels. Nobody's stealing any jewels. I was talking about a mystery story with Blueberry. Or 
somebody. But, but, uh, I heard Earl talking about Project Barry Top Secret. Uh, it seems like we've all been jumping to conclusions. Ed, Earl, could you come here, please? Aha! Uh -huh. You two! Project Barry Top Secret? Did you guys take care of it? Shh! You'll spoil your own surprise, Strawberry. You're in on it too, Strawberry. Oh, the shame of it. <laughs> We're ready to go. Press the button, Earl. Well done, Ed and Earl. Well done. enough of the limelight. So I hope you don't mind, Strawberry, but the Berry Big City Bitty Games needs a band for the opening ceremony. They called me, but I suggested your band, and sent a tape. And they said yes! <laughs> There's so much to do. I have to pack. But what do I pack? Oh, uh, I'll need a jacket if it's cold. And shorts if it's hot. Galoshes if it rains. <laughs> Take it easy, Raspberry. You don't even know when we're going. When are we going, Cherry? Tomorrow. <gasps> Tomorrow? There's so much to do. Wait, Wait for us. us! Wow. We're going to Berry Big City. That's... A long way. <laughs> uh, uh how, how are we gonna get there? Oh, I thought we'd just take my tour bus. Oh! Uh, how long will we be gone? A long time, I bet. <sighs> well, I better get packing. Me too. Are you coming, Orange? Yeah, right behind you. We'll be taking my bus to Berry Big City. Do you think it'll make the trip okay? Hmm. Well, if anybody can do it, it's probably me. 
Wonderful. And could you do one more thing with the bus? Hmm. When do you need it? Tomorrow. Hmm. <gasps> Tomorrow? <laughs> There's so much to do. Where's my sprocket wrench? When we're a team, we can do anything. We're invincible. Let's make a plan. Together we can. We're invincible. Ah, strawberry. Would you have any of that marvelous mulberry pie? The very best pie in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> Why, thank you, Berry Kim Bloom. Right away. <gasps> Ooh, what is this? Don't tell me. You're rearranging the cafe? No. You're looking for a treasure. No, no. You're 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 going on a trip. Yes! <laughs> All the way to Very Big City! Oh, a magnificent metropolis. I haven't been there since. <gasps> what? <gasps> if you're there and I'm here, how will I get any pie? Oh, uh, that's a very good question. Hiya, Orange. What you doing? Where are you going? And why? We're all going away on a long trip. But what about us? Where will we get things like this? And that? And these? <gasps> You're right! Where will my customers go? A critical matter indeed. What will happen to us, and what will happen to Berry Bitty City? There'll be no one to take care of my store. Or Lemon's Beauty Salon, Blueberry's Bookshop, Plum's Dance Studio, Cherry's Music Lessons, Strawberry's Cafe, anything! Maybe we can show the Berrykins how to run things while we're gone. <gasps> Brilliant plan! We, the Berrykins, shall take charge! For duty, for honor, for Berry Bitty City! Yeah! Don't forget the scent stems! My customers love them! Check. When do I give the facial? After you set out the magazines. You want to make the salon experience a pleasure. Got it. Pleasure. Now, Mud? Okay, I think you're ready to... Oh! Uh, uh, oh, my! Oh! Oh! <gasps> Barrick and Bell! What? Did I miss a spot? <sighs> I think we're gonna need a little more practice. I'll have the tossed salad, please. Tossing the salad! Tossing the tossed salad! Oh. <sighs> That was very good, but next time, don't forget the plate. Oh! Well, it's, uh, different. When reading aloud, you must create the proper mood for your listener. Yes, the mood. Yes. under B. I suppose I'll find the missing red pepper under R. Hmm. Pepper goes in the P section. And sweet basil does not go under S. It may be sweet, but it goes in B for basil, sweet or not. This isn't working. They're doing the best they can, but oh, there's no way I can leave them in charge of my store. What are you saying? I'm saying that I'll just have to stay here. The rest of us go on without you? I'm sorry, Strawberry. But Orange, we need you in the band. 
Maybe if you show the Berrykins exactly what they need to know to run your store while you're gone, I'm sure they could get it right next time. Oh, okay. Let's give it another try. There! <laughs> How's that? Hmm. Now then, let's see. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, uh, never mind. That's where it's supposed to be. Aha! No, I guess that does go there. All in all, it's more or less basically perfect. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> now you can go on the trip with us. <laughs> Looks that way, huh? Oh, 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 oh You made it a strawberry and the Sweet Beats Band tour bus. <laughs> well, what do you think? Fantastic! Oh, Oh, American Bruce, it's beautiful. Well, <laughs> I figured if you're going to very big city, why not go in style? Yeah! We're all packed. We were supposed to leave an hour ago. What's keeping her? She's just having a little trouble deciding what to pack. She'll be here any... Um... Minute... Uh, we're gonna need a bigger bus. I'm afraid there's not enough room for all of that orange. But I, I can't leave any of it behind. Uh, not even two dozen jars of assorted jams and jellies? Well, I could maybe take just one dozen. Your store's entire stock of tape, paper clips, and envelopes? Well, you never know when you're gonna need... Come on, girls. Let's get the rest of this loaded on the bus. shall begin. Here's a nice book of nursery rhymes that I... No! Not that one! Please, this one. It's a lot better. Really? Well, uh, the case of the slinking, slinking slinker? Oh, my, <laughs> that sounds a bit <clears throat> frightening. But it's science! <sighs> Well, then, uh, once upon a time, there was a slinking slinker who... who... Hold on. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, um, are we sure we wouldn't rather hear these quaint and charming little nursery rhymes? Slinking slinker! Slinking slinker! A slinking slinker who had long, sharp, glistening teeth and a growl as loud as a foghorn. Oh, this sounds dreadful. <laughs> this will be so much fun! I can't believe we're actually going! Aren't you excited, Orange? Orange? Is something wrong? Stop the bus! <laughs> what is it? What's the matter? I just remembered I forgot to bring... my tea! <laughs> tea? We can get some in very big city. Not my special blend. It, it's my own blend. Mine. My very own. I cannot get it anywhere else. I... I guess there's time to go back. And the slinking slinker slinked into the night 
and nobody ever knew what happened to it, and that's all the end! Yay! Read it again! Read it again! No, no, no. It's past my, uh, er, past your bedtime. Come along now, come along. <laughs> Off you go. Get to bed. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Don't think about... about that awful slinking slinker. Hey! Ah! Is everything all right, Berrykin Bloom? All right? How could it be all right with that slinking slinker slinking about? Slinking slinker? Mm, that doesn't sound good. I should say, slinking slinkers are only the most terrifying creatures in existence. I read it in a science book. And you say there's one around here? Here, there, no telling where. That's how it is with slinking slinkers, you know. They... Slink. Well, I'm not scared. Why should I be afraid of a... <laughs> well, let's get Orange's tea so we can be on the road again. <laughs> a slinking slinker. Oh, goodness me. I'm sure there's a simple expl... What was that? Something. We must protect Berry Bitty City while the girls are gone. We promised. Let's keep this to ourselves. No need to alarm the whole city. Hmm. I have an idea. Oh, I almost couldn't find it. Those barricans have my store too organized. Come on, let's get going. Listen, a whole army of them. We must defend the city. best I could do with such short notice. Amazing! What is it? A slinking slinker snatcher. Watch. <laughs> Very brilliant! Yeah, oh, I sort of thought so. Just a little farther. This is the last place the Slinker and Slinker was almost seen. <laughs> Trap is set. Now what? Now we wait. It's very late. We don't want to wake the Berrykins. Let's be quiet. Oh, this sounds dreadful. Must be the slinking slinker. Shh. We don't want the berry kids to think there's somebody slinking around. Yeah, but we're slinking around. What is this doing out here? Oh, see? I knew the berry kids wouldn't put things away while we were gone. What is that? Looks like some kind of <gasps> trap. Ooh, sounds like we caught a big one. <laughs> well, hey, these look a lot like strawberry shortcake. What are you doing here? Uh, we needed to come back <sighs> to check on the city. Um, uh, sort of. But the city is fine. That's why we built this trap. To protect Berry Bitty City from the Slinking Slinker. <laughs> the Slinking Slinker? That's just a story. <laughs> Did the baby parakins tell you it was real? Oh, oops. <laughs> I thought it was, and then when I heard well, someone slinking... Oh, my. <laughs> that was just us, I'm afraid. <laughs> Guess I let my worries carry me away. 
Running your businesses and taking care of the city were harder than we thought, but we did our very best. Didn't you trust us, Strawberry? Oh, it wasn't that. It was... It was me. I kept finding excuses to come back. I guess I was sort of afraid to leave Berry Bitty City. Aw, you were afraid? You could have told us. Oh, we understand. I'm sorry, Orange. It's no fun to feel afraid. Does it help to know we'll all be there together? It does. You're not afraid to sing, are you? And you're not afraid to put on a costume and get up on stage? No, of course not. Berry Bitty City is a very wonderful place, and we'd never leave it for long. You know that, right? What if, instead of thinking about what we're leaving behind, Think of what's ahead. A great big adventure waiting for all of us. Yeah. Our band's first performance will be very amazing. I would never want to miss that. Uh, wait a minute, if you could. I have something for Orange. If ever I have occasion to travel from home, I always take this reminder of home with me. I'd like you to have it. It's Berry Bitty City. There's my house and my store. Oh, thanks. Thanks, everybody. I think I'm ready to go now. Come on, Sweet Beats. We can practice our song on the way. is in charge of the Wanderberry hunt. And you're the Berry Fest princess this year, so you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader. <laughs> Very well, faithful berry hunters. As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look. Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that Wanderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wanderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all have their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> okay, Custard, Popcake. Keep your eyes open. Only one Wanderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. Oh! <laughs> there it is. The one and only, one of a kind, <gasps> Wanderberry. Isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. Look out! <laughs> Whoa! Are you all right, Berry Kim Blue? Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Uh, had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. You found it. Oh, my, 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 
Yes, yes, yes. A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color's so rich. The shape just so... The texture. Oh, amazing. Oh, and the aroma. Oh, yes. Perfect in every way. Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pet, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Now, now, you know the tradition. It's the Berry Fest Princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted yeah, to see yeah, if you yeah, saw. Yeah. Yeah. Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Mm. Uh. Oh, Harder! You can do it! Come on, uh. Strawberry! Give it a good shake! Oh, uh. that's it! Uh. This moment, a new wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh, Miss Shortcake? What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen. Very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh, it stopped. I wonder why. All I know is we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Whee! Oh! Whee! How will we get the berry back now? Yeah, what'll we do, a wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. Oh, that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it, together. Come on, everybody, grab hold. Let's go with your legs. Okay, guys, count to three. One, two, three. <laughs> Better hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah, can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. We have a tradition to keep, you know? Take a little break. <sighs> Me too. I think we all need a rest. <sighs> we'll catch our breath, then we'll start again. Why can't we just leave it here? Yeah, just for one night. Oh, I don't think we better. Please, Strawberry. Um, 
It's tradition to store it at the Berry Works, right? We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the Berry Fest princess, and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess it'll be okay. Cake custard! Do you hear that? It sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! 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 What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see! You tell me what. <gasps> oh no! Is everything all right? The berry kids tell me that. Oh, oh my! We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit. Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Berry Can Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true. Quite true. All right. We'll have a Wonderberry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide. Orange Blossom, you help the Berry Kim Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin, you'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you, yes. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry, okay? Woo -hoo. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Forty-six and forty-seven. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The fairy can dance, ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fine. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wanderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wanderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you gonna do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah, tell us, Strawberry. What's gonna happen? What'll we do? Yeah, what? I don't know! I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me or did she seem a little stressed? I have no clue what to do. It's all just oh, too much. 
Oh, there it is again. It's coming from over there, isn't it? It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? Oh, it's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but... Oh, which way now? Do you think it sounds weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You can do it, Pupcake. There you go, come on now. I think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry. It's smaller than the other one, but it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry! You found it! Oh, we were worried about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the Berry Fest princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is! Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie. You fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry, you coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Uh, Strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more. Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are, I'm sorry. But this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. 
I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fest feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. But first, first, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fest princess, for this wonderful feast. Thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No, I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. True friends last forever, forever friends stay strong. True friends go together like melody and song. When I'm feeling blue, we smile our way through. Near or far, wherever, true friends, me and you. Special girl. Tackled batter basics and basics of very flawless baking, I am certain you are prepared for today's class. Creative cupcaking. <laughs> are you ready to cupcake? Yeah! Let's do it! Woohoo! It's on! I've got our ingredients: flour, sugar, baking powder, all this fresh strawberry jam. So let the baking begin! Very creative. Orange is putting mint leaves and chocolate chips in her batter for a mint chip cupcake creation. I'm putting real bits of strawberry in my cupcake to make it extra moist and tasty. How about you, Lemon? I'm replacing some of the oil in mine with applesauce. Adds flavor. Mmm, <laughs> and apple fragrance. Mmm. <sighs> Blueberry, how are you being cupcake creative today? I'm adding ground zucchini. <laughs> Well, I read about it in a cupcaking blog. It's good. It'll taste like nuts and cinnamon. I promise. Hey, what's that? I wonder what's going on. I don't know. <gasps> hey, look! What is it? I have no idea. Oh, It's just a little something I call the Sparkle Straw Water Pineberry. Wow! I was tinkering with some pollen, you see, and selecting seeds, and oh, I don't want to bore you. Anyway, would you like a taste? Yes! Yes! Goodness. Well, all right then. Everyone step up. Here you go. 
go. Here's a glass. And one for you. Uh, pass this one down, won't you? Uh, carry on. Yes, there's another. Enjoy. Mmm. It's delicious. It tastes like kind of a, I don't know, maybe watermelon, grape, no, oh, strawberry, and yes, pineapple. I've never tasted anything like it. Oh, and it's a sense sensation. I've got to fashion a fragrance after it for my salon. Oh, Princess Berry Kid, uh, please try some. Ahem. <clears throat> This sparkle straw water pine berry is the finest achievement in berry culture I have ever witnessed. To mark this occasion, I hereby declare tomorrow Berrican Bloom Day with a ceremony in his honor. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, why, thank you. It's really hardly necessary. It's the least we can do, Berrican Bloom, after all you do for us. When plants get sick, you always figure out a way to make them better. And where would we be without your berry bitty veggies? It's all part of my job. Oh, well, it's a lovely gesture, I suppose. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I must tend to my bitty orchard. Oh, he's so humble. Which means it'll be all the more fun to surprise him with something really nice on his special day. Ooh, what a great idea! What could we do that would be very special? Well, I'll ask Plum to help me decorate the gazebo. And I'll bet Sherry could handle the music. Wow, Raspberry, that's a great idea. Perfect, Raspberry. I love it. But what about the rest of us? We need to do something really special. I know. Let's each make him a cupcake. We can make them with the delicious flavors from all the fruits he grows. Oh, that'll be fun. That's perfect. Great idea, Strawberry. Let's get back to baking. Barrack and Bloom supplies all the Berry Bitty produce from my store, so I want to make him the most special cupcake ever. Now, how to make this cupcake special for Barrican Bloom? Oh, I know! I'll fill the cupcake with a tablespoon of delicious strawberry jam. Oh, no! My jam! Where'd it go? Cupcake? Oh, those were all the jars I had. Oh, you're gonna have a tummy ache for sure. And I'm gonna have to restock all the jam in my cafe. Hello? Orange! Just a minute! <coughs> oh, Orange, are you all right back there? I'm fine. Uh, just making my cupcake. Oh, okay. I need some strawberry jam. Help yourself. Thank you. Anytime, Strawberry. And... Oh, my. I was going to put some in my cupcake, but I was completely out. Back to the kitchen I go. <coughs> it's me, Marmalade. <coughs> oh, bless you. Hmm. With all that jam, Strawberry must be making an enormous cupcake. Well, I can match that. Uh, 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 Hi, Orange. Do you mind if I borrow some... sprinkles? Uh, sure. Uh, help yourself. Uh, I've got to get back to my cupcake. Uh, 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 are you okay? got some major rethinking to do. Blueberry? Oh. oh, hi, Strawberry. What's new? Um, not much, I guess. Except you're dragging around a giant banana. It's for my cupcake. Your cupcake? Why don't you just use a bitty banana? I mean, you can't fit all that banana into a little cupcake. 
Who said anything about a little cupcake? You mean, exactly how big is your cupcake going to be? I don't know, but Orange is making a huge one. She's using bags and bags of flour. Oh, you must have just misunderstood. Look at my cupcake. It's normal sized. I'm sure she's baking one just like it. After all, how much cupcake can Barrick and Bloom eat? Hi, guys. How about the cupcake I made for Barrick and Bloom? Bouncing boysenberries, Orange. That's very gigantic. I know. <laughs> Isn't it great? Great? That's the hugest cupcake I've ever seen. Well, don't you think Barrick and Bloom deserves the most special cupcakes we can bake? Did someone mention my name? Yeah. Let's hide. It's Barrick and Bloom. Ah, there you are, Miss Strawberry. Oh, <laughs> yep, here we are. Doing nothing secret at all. That's right. Uh, not at all. We have nothing to hide. Did you ladies need me for something? I thought I heard my name. Nope, not me. Uh, not at all. Nuh-uh. Uh, you uh, must have been someone else. Have a lovely day. Well, then, I suppose I'll be on my way, too. That is a very fine banana you have there, young lady. A very fine banana, indeed. Taking it out for some exercise. Come along, Waldo. Time to finish your walk. I never thought of exercising the produce. Or naming it. Hmm. I suppose Waldo is a lovely name for a banana. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so long. See you around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was too close. He almost found out our surprise. We've got to keep him away. How are we going to do that? I don't know. Keep him busy, I guess. But we're all too busy to keep him busy. We are, but I know someone who isn't. Wait, you want me to what? Just keep Barrick and Bloom busy. We can't let him see us making cupcakes. It'll spoil the surprise. We need a diversion. A diversion? That's a fancy way of saying distraction or keeping him busy. But... How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. Think of something. You're both guys. Why don't you do guy things? Guy things? I don't know. Like what? You're the guy. Figure it out. Hello there. <gasps> Here it comes now. A very fine day to you, young ladies. Why, Mr. Huckleberry, what brings you to town? Uh, guy things. Like, uh, running <laughs> and shouting. Ah! What in the world? Oh, my stars! What an unexpected development! Well, that seemed kind of extreme. I hope Eric and Bloom will be okay. Sure he will. He's a guy. They like that stuff. What matters is that he's not around to see our cupcakes. About those cupcakes. Yes, about those cupcakes, Orange. That one you made was huge. That's right, and it wasn't that big. And I'm not going to make Barrick and Bloom just any old cupcake. He deserves something special. Yes, but what's important is... What's important is that if you make a huge cupcake, ours will seem kind of bitty in comparison. Good point, but really... All I know is that I'm not skimping on mine. <sighs> Well, it's up to you what kind of cupcake you want to make. But just remember, uh, there are a lot of things that make a cupcake great. Don't well, then, I'm going to have to redo mine. For Maybe example, I can team don't up with let the ice cream or a dry right. cake. If blueberries are a bigger the cake cupcake, too, then mine will be bigger, sorry. too. And the presentation. Oh, no. I have a feeling this is going to be the very biggest, very baddest bake-off ever. There. My friends might be baking colossal cupcakes, but I'm sure Barrick and Bloom will be more than happy with this one. Won't he? Oh, maybe Orange is right, Pupcake. Barrick and Bloom is special, so he deserves a really special cupcake. But how can I make a more special cupcake without getting carried away? <laughs> you may not have all the answers, but you sure are cute. <laughs> hey, that's it. I'll make a pupcake cupcake. <laughs> It'll be
be the cutest cupcake you've ever seen. Stay right there. <laughs> Now stay still. Right, Pupcake? It's not what I had hoped for. But you didn't really help by moving around so much. <laughs> oh, now what am I going to do? Of course! Oh, Custard! Please come back. It'll be fun! There! Now that's the perfect cupcake. Just one last touch. <laughs> Whoa! What do you think? I had to change my recipe to make it this big, but isn't it the most special cupcake you've ever seen? All it needs is this cherry and... Oh, I must have added too much plaster. Plaster? Well, I don't know how to make it delicious and bigger and stronger all at once. <gasps> hey, you guys are good with tools. Maybe you can help me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I never baked anything before with plaster. <clears throat> I got four words for you. Frosting licking. Can me you! you. Yes. So that activity is what you would refer to as zip lining? Wasn't it fun? Uh, well, I... Uh... It's just one of the many activities in the, uh, gentlemen's diversion club. Yeah. Goodness, Mr. Huckleberry. This club seems quite rough and tumble. Only the roughest and tumblest for gentlemen like us. Uh, now, when was this club established? It's after me! Ah! It's very old and established. We better keep diverting. I know another diversion, which I know you'll enjoy. To the lake! Yeah! <laughs> the lake. What a wonderful suggestion. I can't think of a more tranquil spot to sit back and marvel at the glory of nature all around us. Yet still, I can't help but wonder why my feet are strapped to these boards. I knew he'd love water skiing. Looking good, Barry Kin Bloom. Well, you were anyway. Okay, another diversion. Think. I know. Are you certain that this is enjoyable? As enjoyable as anything else I could all of a sudden think of. Have fun! Okay, now tackle me. Tackle you? I'm not even sure I know how to go about that. Is this necessary for the gentleman's diver diversion club? Yes, very necessary. <laughs> oh, uh, ah, oh, 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 oh dear. I, I do hope that wasn't too extreme. Are you all right? I'm fine. 
Cherry, just an hour to go till the big ceremony. All I need to do is put up a few more, you know, streamers, balloons, and more streamers, and then what in the very bitty world? I thought you guys were just making regular old cupcakes. But this, a giant beehive? A circus? A volcano? Well, the lava is strawberry jam, and the rocks are sugar. At least it should taste good. How could you all get so carried away? Well, I tried making a pupcake cupcake, but that didn't work. Then I tried a custard cupcake, and, well, that didn't work either. So uh, one thing led to another, and... Oh, perhaps I've lost my focus on what's important here. Ready to see the most special cupcake? Bring it in, boys! It. I had a little help from Ed and Earl. Yep. <laughs> and we used only the finest spare parts and lumber, plus 50 yards of fencing wire. I, uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't taste the cake part. Oh, but the frosting's delicious. And wait till you see this. Guys? Isn't this the best cupcake you've ever had? What's wrong with it? I don't know! Well, how come there's a fork in a gearbox? Uh, cause I was all done eating frosting. Look out! It's going out of control! <laughs> Let's work together to clean this mess up. Yeah! There we go. Good as new. So sad. <laughs> but at least I can still smell cupcakes. Cupcakes? Oh, dear. Never much cared for them. I'm more of a fruit and veggie man myself. Bear can bloom. Huckleberry, what... What happened to you? Well, it's like this. You see... We were jumping in mud puddles, and then we got kind of lost all night, and then we wandered into a brambleberry thicket, and... Oh! The ceremony's starting! You better get up there! The royal rutabaga. I am deeply honored, Princess Mary Kit. And I am honored and full of gratitude to have this day named after me and, and this park. Oh, why, I've never seen this park so clean. However, I must say, the last day has been most unusual. Most unusual indeed. I'm not certain why I was invited into the Gentleman's Diversion Club, uh, but it has been the best 24 hours of my life. <laughs> oh, come here, you. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> then. The big freeze lasted for many days, but finally it seemed as if the very long winter was coming to an end. For all the wonderful things Strawberry Shortcake had done to help her neighbors, she had been elected queen of the spring regatta. What's a regatta, Bluebelly? It's a sailboat race. Ooh! The weather turned warm. It seemed like spring was in the air. Raspberry was planning a big fashion show to display her spring line. Okay, so the models will walk around the fabulous fountain. Oh, the fountain, the symbol for spring showers, of watering cans, watering spring, uh, flowers, of snow melting to waterfalls, rivers, raindrops. I think we get the idea. 
Raspberry, I think it's a wonderful idea. Something a little different than a catwalk. <laughs> I'm so very excited. It's going to be spectacular. 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 Oh, I tell you, no one in Berry Bitty City will have seen a water show like it. It will be a great success, Barrican Bruce. I've been planning for weeks, but only Strawberry knows about it. It's gonna be a surprise as a celebration of spring. I say, you hand me that wubsilator, would you? Uh, here you are there, Ed, old pal. Uh-huh. Is that a wubsilator? Uh, hope so? Now you know that it is not so. That, over there. Now, to your left. Oh, never mind. I'll get it myself. You know, Ed, I'm kind of wishing it was still winter. You know, well, it still could be. This has been a wacky season. Back and forth, coming and going. Oh, I miss skating around on those skaty doohickeys Blueberry made us uh, for traveling on the icy roads. Icy skites, Earl. She calls them icy skites. Oh, uh, yes, I, I suppose that is true. Well, the roads aren't frosted anymore. So, so, Ed, let's say we glue some ice cubes on our icy skite blades and we can put these doohickeys to use all through the summer. The what goes? Ice cubes, all summer glue. Do you have any idea? I know. Don't say it. Another one of my ideas that doesn't make very much sense. You need this? No, I don't need that. I... <laughs> the boss. Barrick and Ed, Barrick and Earl, I have a surprise. You, you do? do? But it's for later. What is it? Uh-uh. Now, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Oh, yeah. I suppose that's true. Oh, <laughs> it's lovely, Raspberry. Wait, wait. Oh, yes. Ooh, the crown. I know it's not the real Regatta Queen's crown. You'll have to be officially crowned by Princess Berrykin. But I wanted you to get the whole, you know, the whole idea. I really feel like a queen. Mail delivery, Miss Raspberry Tort. Oh, goodness. Is that your Regatta Queen costume? <laughs> it is indeed. Didn't Raspberry do a wonderful job? You both do very bitty city justice. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Would you like your mail now as well, Miss Shortcake? <laughs> Why not? Milk, got a buzz. Have a very nice day. Oh, wow. It's the invitation to your spring fashion show at the fountain. Thank you, Raspberry. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh-oh. What a oh I'm sorry, Raspberry, but Barry and Bruce planned the big water show weeks ago and wanted to keep it a surprise. Otherwise, you would have known that he wanted the same date as you. Well, I could move my date and resend the invitations, I guess. Let's see if we can work this out. Well, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Hello, Hello Berry and Bruce. Bruce. I wonder if you could help us, Barry and Bruce. Raspberry sent out invitations to a fashion show she has planned around the fountain. A fashion show? How very wonderful. <sighs> My new spring line. Um, and it's for the same day that you wanted to do your water show. Shh! It's a surprise. I know. She only told me because, well, I was wondering, since no one knows about it yet, could you maybe be flexible with your date? Maybe you could put your show off one day, or have it the day before, or two days before, or two days after, or... Am I invited? Well, sure. <laughs> of course you're invited. Well, I don't see why I couldn't have the water show the day after. Oh, oh thank you, Barry King Bruce. You saved my spring fashion show. Oh, well, it's nothing. Uh, I'm glad to help. Uh, 
Uh, can you fellas hold down the fort? I gotta go, uh, do something real important. I'll be back in a couple hours. Sounds great, boss. Yep, uh, see you later. Do you suppose it's a surprise thingamajig that he's working on? I don't suppose, because I'm not supposed to suppose. It's a surprise, Earl. That's what the boss wants. That's what he'll have. Shall we try it with the music now? Oh, hi, Barry Kim Bruce. Hi, hi Barry Kim Bruce. Uh, Miss Tort, may I have a word? Of course. He seems undone, beside himself. Wonder what he's upset about. But this is the best time for me to work out my fountain show while all the Barricans are down at the Barry Works. I don't want them to see the surprise. I understand, but right now is when the light's just right for my rehearsal. And the girls were able to take some time off during lunch. Go, oh, what'll I do? What'll I do? What if you rehearsed your water show at night? Please, not so loud. I don't want anyone else to find out about the surprise. What surprise? Hear someone say surprise? Yeah, I'm doing a spring water show extravaganza. Ooh! Don't worry, we won't breathe a word. A spring water show extravaganza? Wow, that's neat. Yeah. You forgot your lunch, boss. Wowzers. I see you got Super Bitty Aqua Berry Kim Blast on your lunchbox. Maybe you'd like to switch with me sometime. I got Super Bitty Fern Tendril Free to Firefly on mine. Oh, maybe that's not such a good idea. Oh well, back to work. Oh, don't worry. I won't tell anyone about the surprise. Oh. You know, Barry Kim Bruce, Strawberry has a calendar in her cafe with all the community events. Why don't we organize a rehearsal schedule? That's a very good idea. There we go. Problem solved. Now the fashion show and the water show both have their own rehearsal times. <laughs> Sorry I'm late for rehearsal. Wait, stop! Slow down! I liked it all the way up to that last move. Barry and Bruce must have been rehearsing his water show here last night. The whole place is soaking wet. Oh, should we rehearse somewhere else? We could, but today we need to hang the decorations. Oh, I hope they don't get soggy. <sighs> Barry Kim Bruce is going to get the whole area soaking wet all the time. I... I... I don't know if this whole sharing the fountain thing is working for me. Looking good, Earl. Mm-hmm. Uh, say, it's closing time. Where's the boss? You're right. I haven't seen him for hours. Maybe he's working on the... Surprise. Which I guess isn't so much of a surprise to you anymore, is it? Aw, oh, Ed, you know I can't tell. But since I know what the surprise is, maybe I should go check and see if he needs any help with it. You do that. Aw, oh, Ed. Ah! Oh, well, help me down, Earl. I'm all tangled up in these silly decorations. I think they are quite... Cheerful. Oh, just will you please help me down? Oh, oh, oh yes, uh, uh, yes, of course. Uh, 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 <laughs> Thank you. How am I supposed to practice my water show here with all these paper decorations? Uh, maybe we could put umbrellas over them. Uh, see, you put the umbrellas up and and the water doesn't. Um, get on the decorations. <laughs> I think I better go talk to Strawberry. I don't think this sharing the fountain thing is working for me. Um, Earl, 
Thank you. I think I can handle this myself. Uh, okay, boss. We'll see ya. Later. Ugh. Umbrellas. <sighs> Strawberry, we've tried. <laughs> we really have. Hmm, you know, I've been thinking, and maybe this is an idea that doesn't make very much sense, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Because sometimes, the ideas that don't seem like they make very much sense end up making more sense than you think. Tell, Tell us. us! What if you combine the fountain show and the fashion show and work together? You mean, model my spring line while the water show is going on? <laughs> uh -huh. But my fashions would get soaked. Wait a minute. Barrick and Earl had an idea. Well, he mentioned something about umbrellas. What if your model's modeled with umbrellas? That sounds kind of fun. <laughs> what a very unique idea. Oh, the whole spring showers thing I was going for, which is why, well, it's because, I mean, that's why I wanted to do the fashion show around the fountain in the first place. <gasps> Let's do it. <laughs> Great, problem solved. Spring celebration. Wow, Lemon, you're almost done. These are the most beautiful sails I have ever seen. This will be the very best spring regatta ever. With the very best queen. Evening, boss. Ah, evening, Ned. Earl. The Super Booster Juice Flow Pumperator is ready to go. This will really boost production at the Berry Works. That's very good news. Uh, anything wrong, boss? Well, I gotta tell you, the, the girls' spring fashion show is spectacular, and I was sort of hoping my water show would be spectacular, too. But with the fashion show in front, I'm worried no one will even notice it. That's uh, rough, gee. boss. I wish there were just some way to make it bigger, more spectacular. Any ideas, guys? You, um, want to boost the power of the water jets? Well, yeah, that would work. What if we hooked up the Super Booster Juice Flow Pumper to the fountain controls? That's a great idea, Ed. Uh, let's roll her over there. Uh, what is it, Earl? Oh, um, nothing. You want to come along? No, no, I'll just get in the way. This'll be great. A water show that no one will ever forget. Rev her up, Ed. Wow! Wow is right. Boy, oh boy, everyone's gonna be surprised. They're getting kind of cold, boss. Yeah. Well, let's call it a night. If I didn't know different, you might think winter's coming back.
That's not all that froze. I just came from the lake. It's frozen solid. <gasps> huh? But it was spring. I mean, it was. But I guess it wasn't because winter is definitely back. All those beautiful sails Lemon painted for the spring regatta. Oh, Strawberry, I wish there was a way you could still be queen. Not on a frozen lake. We can icy skite on the frozen lake. I already put my icy skites away. It doesn't make very much sense. Listen to me, Earl, old buddy. Don't listen to me. I mean, don't listen to all those times I said your ideas were silly. Just forget them. I'm sorry I said them. Your ideas are very good and should be said. If you have an idea, Barry Ken Earl, we'd love to hear it. Really? Yeah, like you said, Strawberry, sometimes the ideas that don't seem like they make very much sense end up being the best. Like, like, Earl, didn't you have the umbrella idea that saved the show? Uh, when there was a show? Well, my idea is, um, on the lake, I mean, on the ice, we could do it all. A uh, kind of, I don't know, winter ice skating fashion show thingy? Hey! An ice show! A fashion show on ice! What's this mountain in the middle? Whipped cream. Uh, I mean, the frozen fountain. I, I thought maybe uh, put it out there, right on the ice. Uh, kind of like a... Uh... A centerpiece. An ice sculpture right in the middle of the... <gasps> It'd be beautiful! We'll just slide it over, sculpt it a bit. It'll be spectacular. Hey, yeah! A great idea! Ooh, I could turn my fabulous spring fashions into... into ice fashions. I can donate all the winter fashions you helped me make for my Icy Skites commercial. Wow! It'll totally work! Bam! Oh, this is gonna be great! But the regatta... to sail our boats on the ice. No, there's a way. If we borrow some of your icy skites. Oh, like how Barry King Bruce and I cleverly combined our shows, we could also combine the regatta. I could write this song all by myself. But this time, it didn't matter. Everyone had found that wintertime or springtime, they could always find a way to have fun together. That in Berry Bitty City, every season had its own very big possibilities. 